Hey everyone, this is Geek Out Everything, and today in this video, we are gonna talk about the new RTX 3000 series. Yes, Nvidia has announced the new RTX 3000 series, and in this video, we are gonna talk about the same, and I will be also comparing the RTX 3070 with the 2080 Ti. And so let's just start. And uh, in case you don't know, they have announced their new architecture called Ampere. And not only it's gonna result in better performance, but it's also gonna be result in better efficiency as well. And it is actually a 8 nanometer architecture. And uh, if you compare it with the Turing architecture, then uh, it is actually uh, 2.7 times better in terms of shader performance, 1.7 times better in terms of ray tracing core performance, and 2.7 times better in terms of tensor core performance, which is bonkers to be honest. And none of us were expecting that. And uh, NVIDIA actually partnered up with Samsung to actually develop this uh, new architecture, which is an 8 nanometer, as I've told you. And uh, it has 28 billion transistors, which is almost uh, double the amount of uh, the Turing architecture, which is really amazing. And as you can see, this uh, new technology that they are using, it's uh, uh, actually great, which is not only going to result in better, uh, better performance, but also reduce the loading times and the delay. So whenever you launch your game, it's gonna just uh, go through your GPU rather than go to your CPU and then back to GPU. So yep. And if we talk about the RTX 3070, then it has 20 shader cores, 40 ray tracing cores, and 163 tensor cores. And it has 8 gigabyte of VRAM, which is GDDR6 VRAM. And guess what? The pricing is only $500. Can you believe that? But we'll talk about the pricing in the later part of the video. So now let's just compare some of the specs with the RTX 2080 Ti. So if we talk about the boost clock, then as you can see, it can go up to 1.7 gigahertz as compared to the 1.5 gigahertz on the RTX 2080 Ti. And if you talk about the memory clock, then it has 16 Gbps of GDDR6 memory clock as compared to the 14, gig, uh, 14 Gbps on the 2080 Ti. So yeah. And the VRAM is 8GB as compared to the RTX 2080 Ti which has 11GB. And if you come to the tensor cores, then as you can see we have 163 tensor cores on 3070 as compared to the 114 tensor cores on the RTX 2080 Ti which is again really great. And if you look at the TDP, then as you can see we have 250 watt on the RTX 2080 Ti but on the RTX 3070 we have only 220 watt. So it's not only have a better performance, but it has a better efficiency as well. We are getting everything better as compared to the RTX 2080 Ti. And if you talk about the pricing, then the pricing of the RTX 3070 is $500 as compared to the RTX 2080 Ti, which has a $1,000 price tag. And I would say it's more than $1,000 because in India, if you search for RTX 2080 Ti, it's gonna sell for around a $2,000 or $1,500 or something. Let's just go to the Amazon and let me just show you. As you can see, the ASUS uh, OC edition is selling for around 1.5 lakh, which is more than $2,000. I'm not even joking, guys. And let's just look at this another one, which is a uh, Galax RTX 2080 Ti. It is actually selling for around uh, 1 lakh 9,000, which is more than uh, $1,500, to be honest. And what is the pricing of 3070? It's $500 and if we just uh, uh, talk about the Indian pricing of uh, 3070 it's I think, I think uh, 51,000 rupees which is again really really affordable and keep in mind you are getting better performance than RTX 2080 Ti and uh, if you are building a new PC or if you are planning to building a new PC then definitely the RTX 3070 is uh, really I would say this is the best choice for you that you can go for and now you can tease your friends who have the RTX so yeah that's a uh, one another advantage of that so yeah that's for the specs now let's just come on to the DLSS 2.0 so the DLSS is basically gonna enhance your gaming experience by giving you a better image quality and not only the better image quality it's gonna give you a better performance as well so you will get a uh, better FPS better image quality which is I think a really great thing so guys that's it for this video now and if you want any kind of information about the RTX 3080 or 3090 then let me know in the comments below and uh, if you just simply like this video hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button that would be really helpful and I will see you in the next video till then
Peace out.